Hi everyone, in this video we will learn the process of recovering the pre-shared key on the Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance, the ASA. The network diagram displayed shows the VPN tunnel formed between the two ASAs. There are three authentication methods used in the VPN tunnel creation process. The authentication methods are using the pre-shared key, using the certificate or by using the challenge or response authentication commonly known as crack. We assume that we have already configured the security appliance to be an endpoint of the VPN tunnel and we have provided a pre-shared key as the authentication parameter. Once a pre-shared key is configured, it is encrypted and you cannot see it in the running configuration in a clear text format. It is displayed as asterisk. A sample running configuration is shown here. Now let's look at the different methods through which we can recover the pre-shared key on the Cisco ASA security appliance. The first method is by using the more system running config command in CLI. The second method is by copying the running configuration to a TFTP server. Once the running configuration is copied to a TFTP server, the copied file can be viewed by using a wordpad which will show the pre-shared key in the clear text format. The third method is by copying the running configuration to a FTP server. Let's look at a demonstration of how we can recover the pre-shared key on the Cisco security appliance using the methods mentioned earlier. Let's look at the first method of recovering the pre-shared key that is by using the command more system running config in CLI. In CLI, we will provide the command show run which shows the pre-shared key in encrypted format. Now by issuing the command more system running config, we will be able to see the key in clear text. Let's use the second method of recovering the pre-shared key, which is by copying the running configuration to a TFTP server. Use the command copy running config TFTP in order to copy the running configuration of the Cisco security appliance to a TFTP server. Now provide the address or the name of the remote host. Now it clearly shows that the configuration file has been copied from the Cisco security appliance to the TFTP server. Here is the running configuration file stored in the TFTP server. Here you can see the pre-shared key being shown as a clear text instead of the encrypted text. The third method of recovering the pre-shared key is by copying the running configuration to a FTP server. This method is similar to the previous method of copying the running configuration to a TFTP server. The only difference being the command used here. The command used is copy running config FTP. I hope the information provided in this video was useful. Do post your feedback and suggestions on what videos you would like to see on Cisco support community. Thank you.